Okay, now we will see how to install this with Node. First of all, I will I will delete the the program so that you see there is no connection. I'll come here and I'll delete NA10. Okay, I'll delete it. Uninstall. Goodbye. Yes. Oh, it's executing. One moment. Uninstall. Yeah, I'm uninstalling it. Yes. It is uninstalled. As you can see, MN, there is no NA10. So the program, if I try to find it, to, to find it. By the way, if you see something weird, it's because I'm connecting to another machine. Okay, if you see that I'm using TeamViewer. If you see two menus, it's because I'm connecting to another computer, so don't freak out. <laughs> and there is nothing. Okay, so the program is now currently uninstalled and it's not on my computer. The only thing that I have is Node.js. It's uh, I make sure I have Node.js installed. Node-b, it's not installed. Okay, ah, because I was, well, give me a minute. I will install it in here. Okay. Now that it's installed. Let's check it out. Node-b, version 18.16. Fantastic. Um, so I have Node, but I do not have N8N installed. Great. So now we will do the installation that um, with using NPM. And this is the one that I will use for my computer. Like I will always use this, not the desktop application. Why? To be honest, I cannot give you a um, rational explanation. I just prefer it this way. It gives me some sort of more sensation of control, but whatever I'm do I will do using the, this system, this way of, of using NA10, you can use it in your desktop application the same and it will be it will uh, work exactly the same so not not a big deal um so i'll come to google again and i'll say npx and eight n installation okay npx and eight n installation and in the official documentation of any then they give me here the guide of how to install the NADN with a node. So all I have to do is this command, copy, paste, npx, NADN, okay, and enter. This will take also like uh, several minutes. Eh? I will be posting the video and I'm posting the video because this takes a while, takes a while and I don't want to make you waste your time. Okay, finally, it took a while and I had to change from uh, command from CMD to PowerShell. So try to do this with PowerShell better. Okay, PowerShell, Windows PowerShell and with Mac, just use the terminal and the command is the same. Okay, just put npx space n8n Okay, and uh, that should work. Uh, finally, you should see something like this. Press, press O to open in browser or write down this on the uh, browser. I'll press O and it's opening the browser in this URL. And this should sound familiar because it's exactly the same that the desktop application. Remember that the desktop application, it's embedded in Electron, that it's a browser, a Chromium browser. So it, uh, it will work exactly the same. Um, if I close this and I open the browser again, it doesn't matter if it's Chrome or whichever, but I recommend you to use Chrome. Please use Chrome. Remember this, not Explorer, not Mozilla. Uh, not Firefox, not Edge, only Chrome, and uh, not Safari. Why? Because 
if NA10 desktop it's compiled in Chromium and Chromium it's a derivation of Chrome um, in order to reduce the amount of errors that you know this how this world works there are always errors let's better stick to the same uh, programs and same versions all of us so that the amount of errors it's reduced so please remember use google chrome okay and now if i come here and i write localhost dot two dots uh, which was the localhost five six seven eight five six seven eight okay here we are and um, it's important i didn't specify about linux but if you have linux this is the way to go okay if you are using linux operative system this is how you should install and use uh, and use um, any right so remember linux this is the process